if we're just being honest, you might be in this world for three more months or three more years. You don't know, right? I mean, none of us know, but you're at higher risk for being short-term than people in general. Mm -hmm. That's the truth of it, right? Mm -hmm. People may think, wow, Dr. Phil's being kind of harsh here, but you and I know that's the, that's the truth. You know it. I know you know it. And my attitude is when you're in that situation, I kind of hold two things near and dear. One is living and dying with dignity, and the other two is being kind of selfish. You know, you ought to kind of do what you think you ought to do and what you want. And that's what I'm interested in. And I heard you say you love Star with all your heart, but it's hurt you that she's cheated on you. More than anything. Uh-huh. Uh, and you have cheated on him, right? Yes, I have. More than once. Twice. Uh-huh. And um, you, I have to say, you seem, with regard to him, you seem pretty cold and dispassionate, frankly. Uh, it just seems... I mean, let's just be honest. Because, uh, it, 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 because of what I said to him, if, in fact, he's at high risk and doesn't have a lot of time, you don't have the right to waste his time. I'm not trying to waste his time. I'm just, I'm just being honest, right? Let's be honest. I said that to her. I feel like a lot of I don't need any help from you two right now. I don't need any help from you two, and he doesn't want to have a screaming match here. You owe him the truth. And before you answer... Do you love me? You need to... I, I said dignity... You need to afford the man dignity. You need to be honest about where you are. You, you, want to, you want to tell the truth. And Kirk, you want the truth, do you not? W where are you here? I feel like I love him, but I also feel like a lot of it's faded between everybody getting into our relationship. I'm not asking you why you feel the way you feel. I'm asking you what you feel. I feel like it's faded. Do you think that we could work on from here and repair our relationship? I think, I think it's time to end it. I think it's best that we just go our separate ways. You, you've told us you think you have the right to be happy too. Well, sure. I mean, I shouldn't have to live the rest of my life with that over my head and getting blamed for stuff I'm not doing. I'm not, how am I destroying him? How did I'm being blamed for dragging him halfway across the country this isn't to get away about from his them. family? This is about you and Kirk. Are you? And, if they bought out Star, and they don't get into our marriage and you leave think us really alone, stop? I'm just saying, if that were to happen, would you want to work things out, stay with me, and I go believe, on from here? I believe you should be closer to your family and spend the last days with them. Star, um, again, I'm asking you to be totally honest here. Are you involved with someone else right now? No, I'm not. Are you in the early stages of being involved no. with someone else right no. now? No, I'll probably be homeless and everything after it's all done, said and done, but I don't care. I, I think that's just what's best for both of us. He should be with his family. I'm not trying to keep him from his family, and I wouldn't want that on anybody. And the truth is, you've had affairs I in hopes that he would leave you because you didn't want the guilt of leaving someone that was sick. Did you do that in part so he would end this relationship and you would not yes. have to? I didn't want to hurt his feelings. 